So that's one example. Yeah. Well, more like she and she builds kits and so like, what, what do you so what do you what do you do? So um, my thing is that a year ago I started doing um, building. Oh, sorry. A year ago I started um, <laughs> not only like doing electronics because I really like doing electronics, but I sort of decided like, oh well, people are like keep emailing me like, I really want to build your stuff, and I'm like, oh well, I can't because I only made one. And I was like, oh maybe I'll make like a lot, mm -hmm. and so I started a small little business where I make kits and my like big thing that um, I make is the synthesizer. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a clone of a really popular synthesizer that's actually not made anymore, mm -hmm. called the TB303. Mm -hmm. um, it's got like all the knobs and buttons and sequencer, and it's like it was like a year-long project. Three people worked really hard on it, mm -hmm. and um, like when we were we just released like like I, I, I sell kits for like 150 dollars. You can buy all the parts, like 300 dollars. Mm -hmm. You can buy all the parts, and um, you know I send you a box and you build it and you've got like basically this box almost mm -hmm. exactly, and like you're ready to go. Um, you know, but then I like we released everything open source, like mm -hmm. the firmware, the hardware, the software, the DXF files, the CAD files, everything. Like it's all like some like you know somebody actually made a clone of a clone, which is kind wow. of funny. So, so but, people are actually making that then. So the people are making my clone, but what was really cool is like not only did people actually make it, which was amazing that people mm -hmm. actually built it, because like oh, I'll just sit in a box somewhere. No, people actually like, half the people who bought one built it, and then like because like music musicians are mm -hmm. kind of like. They're like the ham radio geeks right. of our generation. Mm -hmm. Like they're really into circuit bending. Like you've heard about circuit bending, mm -hmm. and and they're like, oh, I wanna, I wanna get in there. And like often, it's like, well, I have a warranty, and it's like in this plastic box and it's heat sealed, mm -hmm. and I can't get in there. But because they were already in there, uh -huh. and they like, and they debug the whole thing, and they know which this is, this is the VC. They don't have to reverse engineer anything. They have the schematics, the right. firmware. I made it like I put a USB port so you can upload firmware like super mm -hmm. easy. There was software. Like people started contributing. People were like, I found this bug in the MIDI code, so I just fixed it. Mm -hmm. Like I, didn't, I know that you'll fix it, but you're busy, so I just fixed it for you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. cool. And then some guys like, oh, like I designed a new cool panel with like backlighting and stuff, and I'm gonna sell it. And, and I was like, no problem. Like Creative Commons, go ahead. Like I don't care. Like make money off of it. Right. And then like, you know, like some guy set up like a full documentation wiki and like did a really good job, and that was kind of creepy because who does documentation mm -hmm. voluntarily? <laughs> that was really weird. He's really cool, and like people started writing music with it, and like people like I, I mean, I have some pictures in my slides like people put but more buttons and sliders and they just went crazy because they're like yeah like I can't lose you know this is like mm -hmm. I can do whatever I want because it was like 300 bucks which is like nothing mm -hmm. in like music world that's right, like right. that's like a foot pedal is $300 <laughs> so it's like if I break it I'll just get another one and right. it's like plastic and it was just like it was like a soft platform where there was no fear mm -hmm. there was no like it's not it, it's not meant to start with so there's no Right. There's no problem. So that was really cool to just see how within one year I had like this huge group of contributors and there's a community and like they really love it. They're like, I love my Zoxbox, you know? It's amazing. It's I'm so cool. glad you exist. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I exist too. Um, so that's that's basically what I'm going to talk about is just like this just totally. And it, wow. you know, we were like, maybe we'll sell 20. That, like, I'm going to have 80 kits in, under my bed and I'll never sell them. But it's been like, it's been Everyone loves it. Wow. So the interesting thing from like my point of view, because I cover her stuff a lot and um, and I'm watching what's going on in, in this like kit building thing. Like what, like a company could do this in a big way mm -hmm. and I think that if you look at this little mini case study of how she's doing this so her customers are documenting the project they're in, they're, they're designing the product and making it better mm -hmm. and you're a team of one person doing this like you can scale because you're customers not because you hire 50 more people and so it's a neat model like everything might you know imagine like if you can improve your 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 car or whatever uh, Blizzard kind of gets it mm -hmm. World of Warcraft you can make your own interface and if it gets right. good enough they just add it right, right. and so there's other examples where you know your customers Mm -hmm. Are your, your engineers? So it's, it's kind of like this open source meme spilling over into everything else. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In a way, I mean, it's to like we're, physical objects. We're becoming comfortable with this idea yeah. of participating and doing stuff, and now everybody's like. No, just we have to come here, maybe. Okay. Um, I, I I actually think because of where we're at with the internet and RSS and easy to connect with people and email and wikis and blogs and everything, we're actually at the point where. It's so much better to involve your customers, uh, and it's okay to make money at all this too. Right. Like you're not like you. Yeah, you know, they know you I charge make money. money. Yeah, you yeah, charge money. Yeah, they know money. that I make money, but yeah. they're also like, they also kind of like, well, you don't make enough money. It's kind of weird. Yeah, they're yeah. like, like people want to yeah, pay people. It, it, like it's, it's an odd thing. Humans like to pay money for a product or you know service, but it can still be open source. Like right. it's still, it, you can still have a great business. 